Hi everybody, Lemkin here. Hope you're all doing good. This is going to be a little bit of an overview uh, about Law in Tekken 8 and some of my observations having used him for a little bit more than a week now in this game. Um, this is not going to be a full in-depth guide about everything there is to know about Law. This, guy, this uh, video already assumes that you kind of know uh, most of the basics surrounding Law. Um, but I think that this video, if, if you are a newcomer and you know nothing about law, this video is still going to be uh, useful for you to watch. Um, but I think there's going to there's gonna be a more in-depth guide coming out at some point. I, I, I just want to quickly say that overall, he is not he what, what law is in this game, he's, he's not a character that will kill you in two combos or anything. He is very much a death by a thousand cuts uh, poking uh, k kind of uh, character, right? He has good pokes, he has uh, good frames, he's a little bit of a jack of all trades, he can do a little bit of everything. Uh, some things better than other, of course, right? So that's a, that's a general thing about Law. I'll mostly be talking about his new stuff in this video, his new moves and his new strings, uh, new setups uh, and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoy and uh, let's let's just get right into it. All right, so let's talk a little bit about some of Law's new moves and new strings in Tekken 8. Let's start out with forward three one. This is a uh, this is a new string that he has in Tekken 8. It's minus two on block, but if you go into uh, DSS afterwards by holding forward, well plus four on block. This uh, attack is uh, let me see. This attack is plus fourteen on hit though. Uh, if you go into DSS like this, but this doesn't mean that you get a guaranteed uh, heat engage or uh, DSS one or anything like that. It comes out of 12 frames. It's not a natural combo, just so you know. But uh, this is also not a natural string. If you get hit uh, by the the first hit, you can still block the second hit. But the reason I like this move is because it's pretty good on block even. As I said, you get you go to pl uh, plus four when when you go into DSS, meaning that they cannot interrupt um, they cannot interrupt you with a jab. What am I doing? There we go. They cannot interrupt you with a jab because your DSS one comes out at twelve frames, and your DSS up forward one plus two, which is the new grab. Oh well, not a new grab. It's the old grab with the new input, right? And a new break. This is a one plus two break rather than two break now. Um, it comes out at 12 frames, so they, they won't be able to beat that option if you're fast enough from DSS. And they will trade with a, um, a DSS forward one, right, which is your heat engage. So this is a really good pressure tool. Especially if they try to duck your DSS one or your, your grab, whatever, right, they, they will eat the, the uh, DSS forward one. So I, I quite like this move. You, usually I, I, uh, I, do, I do the grab setup like this. That's how I like to, to use uh, this, uh, this new move from DSS, right? Alright, let's talk about his... Uh, this, this is not really a new move, but this is more of a new string. He has forward, forward two into uh, poison arrow, which now can go automatically into DSS by holding forward as well, right? So this is uh, forward, forward two, and then one plus two while holding forward. There you go, that's it. And this is uh, plus two on block. If you go into DSS, it comes out at plus five. So this is this is a pretty good move as well, meaning that they will, if they will try to interrupt you here, they will eat a uh, DSS neutral. Uh, two, which is a counter hit launcher, right? You can get potentially a counter hit launcher here if you if you t time it right. Oh yeah, and one trick by the way, if you if want if you want to learn the timing of the DS, because you cannot you can't really mash uh, when doing this. You can, but it it won't be the exact timing, right? So there there's a little trick to some of his DSS stuff. If if, if you notice, he will do a little sound cue uh, the moment he enters DSS, uh, and you get uh, active frames, right? You you you, you heard that? Oh. Who? Who? When he says that little sound, that little who. That's exactly when you need to press. That is, that is a timing cue. If you look at the look in the uh, down down in the left corner of the screen where it says um, f frame advantage, right? The exact moment he says that sound is when you see the frame advantage pop up. Oh, sorry. 
You see? That's when you need to press. That's the exact timing. There it is. That, that, that's the uh, optimal timing for the DSS. So you see, so you notice it, it's very slow on this one, the poison arrow one. So the timing is a little bit weird on that. You might have to get used to it, but it's it is really good. All right, let's uh, let's see why this is this move is also so good. Shout out to Kessa, who, by the way, who showed me this on stream, who who used this move against me a lot. I kind of slept on it, and um, I realized after fighting him how good it actually is. Wait, is, this, is this the one? I recorded. Yes, there we go. Okay, so see, it it is really hard. You, you can step it, but it has some tracking. You, as you can see, it has some tracking to the left. And it has uh, a lot of tracking to the right as well. So it's really hard to step this. The thing is that um, a lot of people, they will try at least a high level play after uh, eating the... or after seeing the forward forward 2, they'll try and duck because of this old string like this. They'll try and duck that high, the second hit. If, you're, if they try to do that, they will also get hit by the poison arrow, right? Now he can get parried out of it, and he, you can you can interrupt him with a jab here. But if you if you try to interrupt with if you're too late on the punish or in, on the interrupt, or if you try to interrupt with something uh, like that is less than 12 frames, I think I think you will trade at 12 frames. Now 12 frames you you die as well. So if you interrupt pretty much with anything but a jab, you get a counter hit launched by the by the uh, poison arrow, right? And one thing to note here, um, you can also you can do poison arrow from DSS, right? So you can just keep spamming poison arrow to get the plus frames. And again, this is this is a kind of hard to step. You have to step to the left, and your timing has to be good. So this. Hi everybody, Lamkin here from the future. I just realized while editing this that I kept saying that you have to step poison arrow to the left, but that's not true. You have to step it to the right. I somehow got my left and right mixed up uh, while while filming recording this. So don't, uh, this is this is just uh, my correction. I just jump in here real quick. All right, let's continue the video. This is a really good fucking lockdown uh, uh, right here. Just, just so you know, right? All right, let's talk about sidestep three. This is a new move as well. It goes automatically into DSS. Um, it's plus seven on hit, but um, or if you want to see the block frames, by the way, it is. Oh, wait, did I? There we go. That's uh, minus thirteen on on uh, on block, right? Okay. But what we're what we're interested in here is that on counter hit. It is plus 16, so you get a guaranteed heat engager off of this. With forward uh, 1, DSS forward 1, that is. You see, he blocked that, uh, because I, w I was too slow. There you go, 2 hit combo. So that's a really good move as well. And shout out to Rad who pointed out at, on the stream that this is actually a really good... Uh, this, moves, this move really shines at the wall. Where, if 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 they if you take the if you get the counter hit at the wall, you get a guaranteed wall combo. So this is breakable wall, so but but you get the drift while right. It's really dangerous at the wall because, um, and I think it does have. Uh, let me see. Defense. Try and record this. Let's just do something like that, right? See, see that tracking, right? Tracks to both sides. So they, if, if, when they want to try and step away from the wall, this is this is gonna catch them from both sides. And oh, I was too late on that. I tried to sidewalk, I can't even do it. Nope, there's no way. So uh, this will track to both sides. Uh, if, so when they're, the, if they're gonna try and s step away from the wall, they're gonna get hit. If you get a counter hit, you get an automatic wall combo or wall break, whatever it is, right? So that is a really, really strong move as well. 
All right, let's talk about Laws 3 plus 4 4. And this is a quite controversial one because uh, this was quite a big nerf from uh, Tekken, his Tekken 7 3 plus 4 4, right? Or at least I thought it is still a nerf in my opinion, uh, definitely, but it's not as bad of a nerf as I thought it was initially. Okay, so first, first, of all, first of all, what you need to know about this move is it's still a great whiff punisher. It, it will still catch your opponent from quite far away. And it does deal more damage in this game by itself than it does in Tekken 7, right? Now, another thing you need to know about this, let's see, is that you need to dog it a lot for a lot longer in this game if you need to, if you want to launch punish this, right? Because in Tekken 7 it had a very quick uh, animation and Legend Kick has a lot of more active frames than the other kick in Tekken 7. So you need to dog for qu quite a long time. Or you're gonna, you see what happened there? You're gonna get caught by it. If you try and do the, the quick duck like in Tekken 7, you're not gonna get the... You're gonna be in a disadvantageous position all of a sudden instead, right? So, but, but one thing you can do, because Legend Kick has uh, a lot more startup frames in this game that, than uh, the other kick it did from 3 plus 4, 4 in Tekken 7. So what you can do now is you can jab him out of this. You can you can li literally just uh, jab them out. At, at, at any time you see three plus four four, you can just jab because because three three plus four four uh, three plus four in in and of itself is minus thirteen. So if he doesn't uh, if he doesn't finish with the legend kick, you still get the a punish right. But if he decides to go in with the legend kick, you get a, uh, you get your launcher. Right? So that that's one thing you. You, you, you can do uh, to prepare against this move in Tekken 7. Uh, but obviously, it is better to get the duck and punish. You get more damage on your combo that way. Uh, but again, if, if, if you're up against someone who kind of mix, mix you up or something, if you're just trying to throw out 3 plus 4 uh, in the neutral, obviously you can get your 12 frame punish uh, if you're playing law at least. Uh, maybe some characters you get even more, right? But you can always just jab check to jab him out of the air or just punish the 3 plus 4 4 uh, by itself, right? Alright. Now, a lot something that a lot of people have slept on in this game, I explained this on stream before as well, right? But this is super, uh, super, super important that you roll after eating a legend kick in this game. Especially the 3 plus 4 4, because you see, what happens if you stay on the ground like this, this is guaranteed right here. Up forward 3 plus 4 is guaranteed if you don't back roll from this. Let me show you what I mean. Um, quick. Is it one right? Is this, this right here, this is what you need to do. You have to roll back like this um, when, you, when you get hit, hit by that. Otherwise, you're gonna take um, you're gonna take a shit ton of extra damage. This is guaranteed, by the way. And this next thing I'm I'm about to show you, it's it's not guaranteed, but it is. It's like pseudo guaranteed. It, you have to do what a very specific things, or you will get hit by it as well. If you hit up forward three plus four, the nunchuck uh, can hit you as well. The only thing you can do in this situation is stand up. You see, stand up like this. If you stand up, nunchuck is not guaranteed. You can block it. It's minus 13, and uh, I'm in a disadvantaged position, right? But if you do anything but uh, stand up, the, the nunchuck is guaranteed. You see, and that's half your HP. So this is like pretty much the same damage that, as you get from a free plus 4 4 in Tekken 7, right? Boom. Half your HP gone if you don't roll that shit, and if you don't stand up, right? Front roll obviously will hit, I don't even think I need to show that, right? Side roll left, will get hit. Side roll right, get hit as well. Wake up mid kick, now this is where it get really interesting, right? Because if you do, if you try to get, do spring kicks or wake up kick, you get counter hit launched. Because this nunchuck is a counter hit launcher, right? The one plus two. So look at this shit, right? Mm. 
now all of a sudden, in in instead of losing like 40 HP from a 3 plus 4 4, you ended up losing. Holy shit. Eighty percent of your HP from a three plus four four, right? If you if you if you don't do the right thing in this situation, you see how dangerous this can be. If you don't have this knowledge, right? Wake up, low kick. It's the same story all over again. And if you watch my streams recently, you've seen this happen. You've seen me do this to people. A lot of people don't know how about this. You will trade with this, but you still get the combo. The uh, recovery kick. Spring attack, obviously the same thing. You get the drift, right? And shuffle. So yeah, you have to... You have to stand up. First of all, you have to back roll this right here, so, so this is not guaranteed. And if, if you for some reason don't... You have to just st stand up here. Alright. Now this one... Uh, yeah, so, so you see this this 3 plus 4, 4? It's not necessarily as weak in this game as you think it is. If your opponent doesn't have the proper matchup knowledge here, you will absolutely shred people with this. You will take 80% of their HP, potentially, in one combo. This, this, this is like a, a freeway scenario, right? First of all, you have, they have to roll this. If they don't roll, you have to stand up here. If they don't stand up, do not press button, because you will get counter hit and... Uh, what what was what used to be a 40 damage uh, with Punisher, all of a sudden became a 60 damage uh, with Punisher. All of a sudden became an 80 damage uh, or 90 damage with Punisher. Even more, right? if you have walls, or wall breaks, whatever, right? Um, so it's 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 just very important that uh, that you know what to do here. And uh, in this situation, you can take advantage of this uh, with law and and. Uh, if, if if your opponent doesn't have the proper matchup knowledge, of course, you 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 will get a big 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 rewards from 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 landing this. Um, so yeah, that's that's the three plus four four uh, in this game, much much uh, stronger in my opinion than a lot of people have given it credit for in this game. Now, of of course, it, sh it should be noted that in high level play, this is not going to be play too much of a factor, right? Because most people are going to know to back roll in the first place, and 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 the rest of this scenario won't even have a chance to play out. So, uh, but th this is this is something that people eat all the fucking time in lower rank. Trust me, I've seen it in this game. I've done it so much to people. Even in high ranks, some people uh, fall for this shit. So it it is it's not completely. Uh, you can't just write it off, right? So, okay. So let's talk a little bit about law and heat here. Now, a lot of the heat stuff, it's not really law specific, right? He has, he does have this new move, uh, which is the Forest Law's old up, uh, while standing free, right? Up over free, gives you great pressure. You can use it in heat dashes and all that kind of stuff. It's a heat engager now. It had low crushes, of course, because it, uh, it is a mid, but it has a jumping uh, uh, attribute to it, right? So, but what I really want to talk about here, mostly in, in law's heat, is a heat smash. He has one of the the better, if not the best, heat smashes in the game, right? It's not uh, the fastest, but it's four, 14 frames, which is one of the faster ones comp in comparison to others, right? Uh, and it has crazy good range. If you see the... Look at the pushback here on the on the heat burst, right? It will still connect from a heat, after a heat burst. You see? It has crazy good range, does decent chip damage on block, and it gives you automatic DSS on block as well for a free mix-up, because here, you're plus 11, so you, your opponent pretty much, they, can, they can't really press here. They, they just have to take the mix-up on block, so you get a free mix-up. There's a really good, uh, uh, and it is a mid, of course, it's a, just a really, really good heat smash uh, in general, but where it gets really interesting, let's see. So, being a mid and being 14 frames, it does not have crazy damage or anything. It has decent damage. This is not bad. 50 damage for a heat smash is, uh, I think it's like average or maybe slightly above average. There's some heat smashes like uh, Jins who just have obscene amounts of damage, right? But, uh, but this being as fast as it, as it is and having the properties it is, is a pretty decent damage in my opinion. But where it gets really cool, let me see, is that, and this is not a given for a heat smash, right? It does actually give you 
combo at the wall splash like this. Okay, you can combo after. If you if the, your opponent hits the wall, right? Try, try and avoid the unbreakable wall here. You have a couple different options. From further away, you can do back two. If, if you're right up against a wall, you can just do something like this. That, uh, I swear to God that worked earlier, but otherwise you can just do... Uh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Alright. Like you do Junkyard, something like that, right? Boom. Okay, that will whiff. Oh yeah, I, I just remember. Yeah, you. so you do... Uh, you do junkyard, sidestep, one plus two. That's 80 damage for a heat smash at the wall, right? Or you can just do nunchuck if you feel like you want to go the safe route. You just do the nunchuck boom, then the regular ender. That's 88 damage as well, right? I wonder like what's the max I can get here. Wait, no. But yeah, anyways, you get the drift. Really strong heat smash. Really good damage. Good chip on block. Good frames on block. Automatic DSS. So you get a free mix up. Gives you a, a combo at the wall for big damage, like eight, a pre pretty much 90 damage. Right, you can optimize that as well. I, uh, what I did, you can do. You can get a little bit more damage than that even. So, super, super good heat smash. All right, this is my personal new favorite move in in the entire game, and I think it's, it's you could you could argue that this is uh, one of the strongest, if not the strongest move in the entire game, and I'm going to show you why. This is one of his new moves, one plus two, the nunchuck move. <clears throat> it comes out at 16 frames, does 20 damage, right? Uh, on, it's minus 13 on block, so it's not safe or anything. But this move has crazy range. You you'll be hard, hard pressed to find a character who can punish this at minus 13 from this range. So it's pretty much safe at tip range, and not even tip range. Like at this range as well, it should be pretty safe, right? Of course, some characters will be able to punish this, um, but again, you'd be hard pressed, right? So really good. Uh, comes out quite fast and uh, has decent frames on block. Now, the reason this, uh, there's, there are many reasons this move is so good. First of all, it's a good combo tool. It gives you a bound and a combo, right? And it has good damage. So it's, it is one of the main tools for like his uh, optimized stable combos. If you watch the, the combo uh, videos I did with Law, you will see me use uh, this move a lot in combos uh, for the bound. like that right um so, so it has that going for it and on counter hit it is a launcher so you you get a counter hit la launcher with this move as well for so pretty big damage you can do uh, this more optimal oh, let me see There you go, 70 damage for a counter hit on that, right? You can use it to interrupt a lot of moves and strings. You can hit the, uh, you can hit people out of the air. It's a great anti-air move. I'm gonna show you a couple clips in a minute. Um, uh, and in heat, it is a, uh, it is a launcher on normal hit, and it does 23 damage in heat instead of 20. So, and also it is uh, on block. It's safe in heat as well, at only minus eight. You see. Crazy good, crazy good. Uh, another thing that's really sick about this move it is it hits grounded. You've seen this already as uh, one of one of his main setups in this game is his slide. This is guaranteed. Right. If they stand up, uh, what is it? Wake up, stand up. Okay, it is. So if they just stand straight up, you have to be pretty fast. You see, 
You can, they can block it if they just stand straight up. But if you're fast enough with this, you, you will hit the nunchuck every time. So what you do after a slide, he gets up automatically like this. You pr basically just start holding back uh, while doing the slide and he will automatically turn around. As soon as you see that turning around animation, this animation right here, you just press 1 plus 2 and you should get it every time. Boom. Okay, and then I didn't get it. <laughs> Typical. There you go. So get, get, getting the timing right can be a little bit tricky. Because you do have to be fast. But never mind, this is guaranteed, okay? So that's all you need to know. Um, so, so this move will hit grounded, and this is uh, the most, like, uh, typical situation you will you will you will move this uh, you will use this to hit hit people grounded with it after doing slides but also know that after hitting a DSS um, DSS neutral 2 it is guaranteed if you're fast enough you can run up like this you see so if, if you get the parry let's see can we do uh, let's see we'll do Yes. Okay, we'll do something like this. I obviously you can get, you can do this parry right here. It'll be 34 damage. You can do the manual parry. Boom, like this. You will get what, how much is this actually? 20 damage. And 16, so you get 36 instead, right? So if you, if you if you feel like you want to go for that extra damage. In some parries, you, you you get that two extra damage from just doing that, or if you just want Oki in general, right? Oh. See, I wasn't fast enough there. There we go. Alright, so it it will it will hit grounded, uh, and I I already showed you how how good this move can be after the the three plus four uh, four stuff, right? Um, anything else I need to mention? Oh, I feel like I forgot something. Alright, I will... Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you a couple instances. Oh yeah, because this hits so low to the ground, it'll, uh, because it hits grounded, by the way, um, it is also... Uh, it will it will hit Reyna out of her annoying, like, rolling attack. It will hit... Um, it will hit Xiaoyu out of her AOP. Which famously crushes almost everything, right? Because it is a, a a low hitting move. You can use it to. This is a bit more risky, but you can use it to counter hit launch people with the uh, Asusena who try to do while running free two. You can try and counter hit Dragonos while doing running two with it. Again, you have to be. That's a very timing based, but it is possible because it has such a huge hitbox, right? Um, oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention this is steppable though. To let me see. Oh, that's not what I... Um, yes, record. We'll do something like this. Right. Alright, that's good. You can step it to the left, but not to the right. You see. It does have some tracking to the left, but for the most part it's not, it's not hard to step. I got I got clipped there. So yeah, this is almost a perfect move in my opinion. Extremely good. Extremely good.